hi guys so you guys could tell by the title what this video is gonna be about it's gonna be about my life with cutie she's crazy look look at her she has no sense cutie can you stop she has a licking problem her hair is in a ponytail but you can't really see it because she's crazy so yeah i'm gonna put her down because obviously she doesn't have any sense right now okay so first i guess i'll start off by saying like cutie is all I ever wanted in life <laughs> like ever since i was a kid i could remember asking my mom like can i get a dog can i get a dog and she always said no 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 so when i was old enough and i moved out i was like no matter what i'm getting a dog like i don't care so before I had cutie, my life was fine, it was easy, it was breezy. I never had to worry about anybody but myself. But you think, you would think that when you get a dog, it's not like a person. So you don't have to take care of it that much and you don't have to watch it that much and be there for it 24 seven. Like as if I would have had a child, I would have to be there with my child 24 seven. My life would end, it would be over. Like, that's how I would feel if I had a child. So, when I got cutie, that was my thoughts until she started to get older. When I first got her, it was okay. She was a baby. She's a Shih Tzu Terrier. Um, she was a baby. She cried every night for about a week. And I had to let her out the kennel and sleep on the bed until she went to sleep. Then I had to put her back inside the kennel. When she got a little bit older and I started leaving her in the house by herself, when I would come back in, Judy would be extremely excited, like to the point where she was biting at you. Like, I don't think she knows how to control her excitement. So her way of controlling her excitement is to bite at you. And it's really bad. Like, I don't know how to stop her from doing that, but that's a big problem. Not only that, I always have to find somebody to watch her now because Cutie is a very, very bad dog. She will get into anything and tear it up and she will eat anything. She has an eating problem. Her eating problem has sent her to the doggy animal hospital once now. She was throwing up blood. A couple weeks ago so I took her to the animal hospital I didn't know what was wrong with her Judy ate a popsicle stick off the floor and they had to pull it out of her rear end so this is how bad she is she eats anything that right there cost me six hundred dollars for medicine that she needed for her insides for her even being seen there it was very expensive I never thought that a dog would be expensive at all I would think oh I gotta get their haircut oh I gotta get them food that's about it but no it's way more than that with cutie I have to get her food PB pads clothes haircuts doctor's appointments pay somebody to watch her it is horrible Having cutie is like having a fur child. That's exactly what she is. When people say they have fur children, these animals are really our children. We have to take care of them as if they were our children. We have to keep an eye on them as if they were our children. <laughs> and it's crazy. I couldn't imagine my life without cutie now. But if I knew that having her would be as hard as it is, I would have never gotten a dog. I would not have gotten her. She is at the point where she is constantly following me around. She begs for human food now, thanks to my mom. Thanks, mom. Cutie will not eat dog food anymore. She has went through three, no, four different kind of dog foods. She had the Rachel Ray's soft food the rachel ray's hard food she has had food enhancers to put in her rachel ray hard food she has had um the caesar dogs food she has had purina dog food cutie will not she'll eat it she'll be excited the first day and after that it's like i don't want it anymore 
and I keep buying her different kinds and keep trying different stuff but when you're eating if she smells anything cooking she's coming down she's trying to see what you're doing in the kitchen as soon as you make your plate and sit down at the table she is right at your leg scratching biting barking acting crazy if you don't give her food she is ridiculous she wants to eat everything that I eat and I didn't want her to be like that I didn't want her to be a dog that ate not dog things like I wanted I mean you know some things here and there maybe let her taste like you only live once she's a dog <laughs> but I don't want her eating something to affect her life long term like I don't want her having problems because of something I fed her that it could have been prevented but yeah right now she's laying under the table right in front of me another problem that cutie has is that she will bark at anything and anybody when I turn the Xbox on you know how you have your little person your little I don't even know what they call you're just your little person that you make up yourself she hates that person like she once she sees she stops everything she looks at it she stares at it she jumps and barks at the tv a scratch she almost knocked the tv over one time that's how crazy she is she hates it if the windows open if she hears kids outside playing somebody walking by people laughing having a good time cutie is ready to attack <laughs> cutie hates children like hates them with a passion she will growl and act crazy like no other I don't know what's wrong with her but she's good around dogs I mean when I'm walking her sometimes people have their dogs out and they're like oh does she bark or something I'm like yeah she does but she won't bark at another dog so hey she likes her own kind and that's just the way it is I guess but I don't know I hate that she could jump on my bed now. I hate that she could jump on the table. If you leave the chairs at the table, please know that Cutie is getting up on that table and eating your food. If you leave your food on your bed, know that she knows how to open doors. Like, she will ram her head into the door <laughs> until it opens. And she looks freaking crazy. Like, her skin will be like pulled back and she's like ramming her head through the door and I'm like, it's not that serious cutie like she really acts crazy she's just she's really bad and she really has an eating problem <laughs> and like i said if i would have known it would have been this hard having a dog i would have never gotten one but now that i have her i love her to death she's like my best friend and i don't know what i would do without her i really don't i love cutie she's just bad she sits at my feet all the time, like my little protector. <laughs> and if somebody tries to hit me or something, Cutie is trying to maul them to death. Like she is my protector for sure. She'll come, I'll be like, Cutie, go downstairs, see who down there. She'll go down, she'll sniff around, she'll start barking. I'm like, Cutie, is anybody even down there? Come down here and nobody down here. She keeps looking back at me like, come on, come see who's here. And then she'll bark at the door and keep looking at me. So I have to go to the door, open it, show her that no one's there, and then she'll walk away. My like, cutie, what are you doing? She is just bad. Then I always have to find somebody to watch her, especially if I'm going to be gone for days or if I'm gonna be going at work for hours I have to find somebody to watch cutie because if I don't cutie will be into stuff that she has no business being into so you really have to watch this one she will eat anything and then she'll be sick and then it'll be on me so yeah I don't know I just felt like making this video to talk about her and what life is like now with her <laughs> well before you guys get a dog next time or if you're thinking about getting a dog you guys really need to think long and hard before you commit yourself to something you know nothing about because it's hard and it costs a lot of money and 
I don't know. I mean, they say dogs are a man's best friend, which is so true. She is my best friend. I don't know what I would do without her. But before I got her, my life was so free. I had no one to think about, no one to care for but myself. And now I have a whole nother, another, basically another person to care for. And it's hard. She's expensive. Her haircuts are $60. Her food is $10. Her clothes cost money. Yes, she don't have to have clothes, but she has clothes. And now when I comb her hair, it makes my nose swell up in the inside. It makes my eyes itch, my throat itch, my ears itch. It is so horrible. It's like I'm becoming allergic to her. And I was never allergic to her at all. The older she got, the worse it got. Cutie is one years old. She just turned one. July 1st, which means she's seven years old in dog years, so she's getting old fast. <laughs> but I know she'll be around for a long time, and I love her. So we're going to say bye now. Say I hope you guys like this video about me and my life. Cutie, look. We'll say, say bye. Say bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll be sure to make more videos for you guys. Bye. <laughs>